and on ABC7. Morning. Morning. Danny's settled for the sitter, and I got some some things to do before Allison's hearing. So. Uh, what well, you? I think you're feeling kind of weird about what happened last night. You you can sort of admit it to me, and then you don't have to sneak out. I wasn't sneaking out, and and what was weird about channeling your missing husband? That happens every day. I'm talking about that kiss. You know, the, the only reason that I, I kissed you like that, you know, was because I'm, I'm trying to contact Kevin, right? Right, sure. Right, okay. So, hey, why don't you stay? I, I, I can burn toast really good. I make very runny, yummy eggs. Mm. Breakfast with you sounds tempting, but I really I have somewhere to be. these candles, I try to find a needle in a haystack. I know, I know, but it's better than just sitting around and waiting, you know what I mean? Are you nervous about the hearing? Yes, I am, because I feel like for the first time it's starting to become very real, you know, that I might be going on trial with my life. Allison, everybody knows you didn't kill Kevin. Yeah, not everybody. Uh, Libby, Libby's an idiot. Yeah, right. So, you went to go see her, didn't you? Yeah, how'd you know? Because I went to go get into my purse and look for the key to give it back to Ian, and I wasn't there. Yeah. <laughs> I saw her, all right. Saw her through the window kissing some guy. Oh, God. She saw me, too. And you know what? I was going to go in there, but I mean, what good's that going to do? Right. So I just, I just left. I really am really sorry. Hey, you know what? She is his problem now. Mm-hmm. But let's, what do you say we get out of here? Right, uh, yeah, I just, if it was here, we probably would have seen it somewhere, so. Yeah. Let's go try somewhere else. Good luck. Wherever you are, you're gonna need it. Oh my god, my, my chain. What? It's, what, what is it? it's, it's gone. Okay, well, it probably just got mixed up in the stuff we found. Don't worry about it. I know, but th this is important. I I've had this for as long as I can remember. All right, and we will find it. But this is our time, Rafe. Time for us to get to know each other again. Right. You don't sound so sure. No, I mean, who wouldn't be happy about spending time with a beautiful woman like you? I lost my memory, not my mind. Okay. Mm. It's settled in, then. Right. Mm. <clears throat> oh, what? careful! Ah! Oh. Well, that's more like it. Um. Um, well, why don't I make some breakfast and, and then we'll, we'll go for a long walk. Is it really so hard for you to touch me? Hey, I hope you're not getting sick of seeing me, because um, I'll be around for a while. Danny sends his love. You can see him motoring across the floor. He'll be walking in no time. When I look at his face, I can almost see you smiling. I guess you know why I'm here. 
We bit of a strange night last night. You know, we've been, we've been looking for Kevin. Well, last night we found him. He found me. He, uh, he was talking through me. It's not funny. Come on, you don't laugh at that. I should know better. I should know that anything can happen in this town. Just wish I knew what happened to Kevin. That's a million dollar question, isn't it? So, were you able to find that candle? Yeah, we searched the woods from top to bottom and found nothing. Lucy, what is this doing here? Ah, uh, I did not want to let Rebecca out of my sight. Now, are you sure that this missing candle still ties to Kevin's disappearance? Yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely sure because I have more proof now than ever. Did, did something happen? Well, I, I did not want to tell you guys this over the phone, but I heard from Kevin. <gasps> you did? So then Kevin's alive. Well, he told me about the candle. He's the one that, that's why I called you. Oh my God. This yes. is great then news. Kevin's okay. <laughs> it, wait, there's one small detail. Just, so then he's okay. This means I'm free. <laughs> I'm finally free. <laughs> Libby, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. You never used to have trouble touching me before, Rafe. Once you couldn't wait to get me into your arms, into your bed. But when I kissed you, I could... I could tell your heart wasn't in it. This is me. Not you. This is all so strange. We know everything there is to know about each other's bodies. We have been closer than two people could ever be. Well, yeah, that, 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 that's just it. I mean, I would think, like, the kissing and, and the touching, it, it would bring back some you know, sort of memory. And... Please, don't ever feel like you have to force anything or pretend with me, because we have always been honest with each other. You know, in a, in a way, we have with most couples, never have, and that's a chance to fall in love all over again. Yeah, that, that, that's what I want. That's really what I want, to be the person I once was, so please don't give up on me. I mean, you're everything a man could ever want. The moon may be high, but I do constantly like to eavesdrop on people in graveyards. I'm sorry if I startled you. I was just putting some flowers on my grandmother's grave. I've been coming here once a week since I moved to town. Who are you visiting? My wife. I'm, I'm sorry, I can see it was recent. Yeah, I'm intruding. I will leave you alone. Have you thought any more about what we talked about? Oh, you mean all of that mumbo-jumbo about Allison's ancestors jumping out of portraits yeah. and wreaking havoc around town? All that mumbo-jumbo. You know, I can honestly say I haven't given it a second thought. You know, if I'm gonna free Allison, it's gonna be the old-fashioned way, proving reasonable doubt. And I stress the word, reasonable. That's fair. You're a doctor, a man of science. I'm surprised you buy into all this voodoo. I know what I saw. So you're saying Port Charles is like a magnet to other worlds? Magnet for other worlds? No. It's um, more like the Bermuda Triangle with slightly better restaurants. Oh. And yet you moved back here. Why? Lucy asked me to. You two are friends, right? We're great friends. And you moved back to Port Charles after Kevin disappeared? Yes, I did. Any more questions, Counselor? I'm sorry, bad habit. Makes me a real drag at parties. Sure it does. Well, I'm gonna pick up Allison for her hearing. She's a good kid. And even good kids get into trouble. And she's got her head so turned upside down with all of this supernatural stuff that it's really hard to get her to focus. I know you think all of us are certifiable. And maybe you're right, kid, maybe we are. But there's some strange things going on around here. And if you keep an open mind, maybe you can use that. Maybe.
It means so much to hear you say you want to try again. To recapture what we lost. Yeah, well, you know, I figured love, it doesn't just vanish, right? It's got to be locked up inside me somewhere. It'll all work out. And it will be even more amazing than it ever was. You know what? Um, why don't I take these bags into the other room? And then you and me, we, we can get reacquainted. Does that sound as strange to you as it does to me? Listen, it's, it's going to get easier as time goes on, I promise. Hello? Dara? Yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely be at the hearing. Allison killed my father. Of course I'll be there. Okay. Bye. Where are you going? Um, I have to visit a friend at the hospital, but I will be back soon. And you just stay here and make sure you get lots yeah, of rest. Yeah, I get lots of rest. I know, I know. How's that? Much better. Won't be long, okay? We will pick up right where we left off. You took everyone I loved away from me, Allison. And now I've got your precious wraith. And I will make him love me. I will. Great. Let's call the DA and get the hearing stuff. I know. Huh? You must be so excited. Kevin's alive. I am. I am. I'm very excited. But uh, see, um, I heard from him, but it's not quite the way you think. I probably would have heard from him. You see, Ian channeled Kevin. What? Uh, it's a very long, complicated, very strange story. But, but listen to me, really. Kevin spoke to me through Ian. And, and Doc told me that Rebecca came out of that portrait, lit that candle, and made Doc disappear. I think it's that candle that she gave you, Allison. Oh, my God. Oh, disappeared where? Well, that's the part we don't know quite yet. We haven't figured it out, but we will. Right, which means it's more important than ever that we find that candle. Because Rebecca, she's, she's not coming out anymore. Well, no, she's not, is she? That's why I wanted to bring the portrait here. You know, I, I just feel there is some sort of spirit from that portrait of Rebecca, and some aura is still there, and so I, I just I wanted to bring her back here so she could sort of sense how Kevin lives and all the people that love him and how much Christina misses Lucy, him. Lucy, you're putting a guilt trip on a portrait. Well, yeah, I gotta work all the angles here. I want Kevin back. Now, Rebecca did come out of that portrait once, and she may do it again, so I have to try. Come on, that's all I've got. It's my only connection, and listen, you know what? I am not giving up hope, so you cannot give up hope either, okay? Yes, we are right. going to find a way to get through this, okay? Yeah. Hey, Jack, thank you so much for sticking by me. <laughs> That's what friends are for, right? Yeah. Um, you know, has anybody heard from Livy? Yeah, um, I'm sure she'll be at the hearing with her new friend. Anyway, I'm going to get going, and I will see you guys at the hearing, okay? okay. Good luck. Okay, see you Thank then. you. Allison, I got a message to meet you here. Oh, hi. Um, please, come. You're in. Come on. And further, uh, we were just um, sort of chatting. Is uh, something going on? And did you find out something new? No, no. You know, I have some little kids that are going to stay with the sitter while I'm at the hearing, so I need to go check on those little kids. So, ta. <clears throat> Huh. Well, that was a fast getaway. Yeah, you know, it's Lucy being Lucy. Allison, if there's something going on that I need to know about, now's the time. Yeah. Okay, Kate, here's the thing. Kevin sort of contacted Lucy. That's great. Yeah, it is, but they, they channeled him. Not great. Okay, but, but here's the thing. Listen, listen. Lucy, she believes in that kind of stuff. And most of the time, she's usually right. And Kevin said that Rebecca lit a candle which made him vanish. And now Lucy knows that, she, that he's alive, so that's great. Allison, tell me something. Are you trying to get convicted? I mean, do you want to die? 
I'm sorry I have to leave you here all alone. But I gotta go. I miss you. Hey, I... Uh, I thought I'd find you here. I was just telling Lambert about, you know, all the gossip, you know how she gets. Oh, yeah, she loves all the gossip, and uh, uh, probably just right about now, she would be giving you hell for uh, hanging out with me, telling you, you know, stay away from Lucy. I'm nothing but trouble. I think she'd want me to help you find Kevin. But I don't think she would have wanted me to kiss you. I told you it's forgotten. Not by me. I sort of crossed over the line, didn't I? I mean, you were just trying to help me, and I practically took your finger and stuck it in some sort of supernatural lightning rod when you're still going through all of this. You're trying to find the one you love? I would have done exactly the same thing. Um, would you ride with me to the hearing, maybe? I'd like that. Mr. Wonderful. I'm really sorry you had to find out that way. Well, by the way, your little friend left something. Where did you get that? At the cabin. I went back to throw you both out, and you weren't there. Found this on the floor. <laughs> really no need to draw any pictures on how I got there. May I have that back, please? No, I don't want to die. Well, then will you start acting like it? Do you realize today is the day they decide if there's enough evidence to try you for murder? And you're standing here prattling on about candles and channeling missing husbands and a talking portrait. Look, I know. I know this sounds crazy to you. It sounds crazy to anyone with a right mind. You know, just because your friends believe some silly ghost story doesn't mean a jury will. How is it that you are supposed to fight for me if you don't even believe me? I need to be the voice of reason, Allison. What you need to realize is that you are on... Excuse me. Yes. So that information I gave you panned out. Great. No. No, my client has no idea what I'm planning, and I don't want her to. OK. Well, looks like we're in for a wild ride today. I just want to make sure you're prepared. So how do you prepare for a day like this? It seems as though you are my voice of reason. How does today look? Let's just say I don't like to lose. Ready? Right. Yeah, I just would like to take a couple of minutes to sort of collect myself. Is it all right if I meet you there? Sure. Yeah. Just don't be late. No. OK. Yeah. I feel so safe with you, Rafe. Your life is my life now, Allison. Your problems are my problems. Whatever we have to face, we'll face it together. Mm. You can't help me today, Rafe. I've got to help myself. And pretty soon, I'm going to go in front of a judge, and he or she will hopefully see that I am not a murderer. I wish I could find that candle. Ah, chain, chain, where the heck is my chain? All right, now you better be in there. Clothes. What's this? Oh, I said that candle I found in the woods. I don't even know if it belongs to me. Something about it, though. I just wish I could. 
could remember. Yeah, remember, that would be a good thing. <sighs> Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Superstition. Next to Port Charles. I'm seeing things. Something is wrong with me. How did you come to be under this influence? One of Allison's candles. It was laced with the drug. Is it true that you recently had an affair with your husband's colleague, a Dr. Ian Thornhart? Did you miss any of Poor Charles this week? Be there for the SoapNet Marathon of all this week's Poor Charles episodes, Saturday at 4, followed by Soap Center. Log on to SoapNet.com for your complete SoapNet schedule. SoapNet. Soap watching made easy. Next, catch up with today's soap. You, you keep holding.